Do what you want, cause a pirate is free. You are a pirate. You are a pirate. You are a pirate. I'm sure. Oh, Jesus. Well, Sounds so vain. Yeah. 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 Sorry, I think I was like, skill is improved. Did I actually take it? No, I didn't. That's my bad. Okay. Well, so much for shopping. Okay, so who else is doing something? <laughs> I was going to do the recruiting. See if we can find some shipping okay. people. Sandara's recommendation is that rolling up on day one with no one having any knowledge of your crew besides the fact that you are new and trying to recruit people is probably hey, not the best idea. You know what? Me and Gwen we can just spend a day kind of yeah, walking around getting to know everyone. That we can. You guys should probably make it your priority to just get to know the place for the first me, day. Me and Gwen can get, leave, leave me and Gwen to that. I was gonna say, we like, have the get people ability. used to you, tell stories about your adventures, things like that. All right, so we'll do that. Marco and I will spend the day getting to know the town and everything in it. Staring we'll down make some friends. the gritty low queen. <laughs> hiding precariously behind the <laughs> tank. Oh, bullshit. I was not so hiding. I had it literally and shoved and into my guts. I, I couldn't tell. I was in something's guts. It was great. <laughs> I was at the bottom. <laughs> Marco was trying to hold the cage. Marco was trying not to let two of our good NPCs die. That was rough. That was terrible. That was a rough fight, yeah. Our squishies were trying to tank. One tank was trying to save two people, and the other one was being eaten. Spent yes. all my moxie. You're, you're good. You're Dude, they would have been fucked right if now. I didn't just go hero mode. What does that mean? I feel everything right now. Oh, okay. Well, I have this feeling. Wait. <laughs> okay. Is there a tavern? Hmm? Is there a tavern? No. Damn. Most of these people are living in huts and sit around drinking homemade hooch <gasps> that they put in like little coolers and then just throw into the water. Perfect. Well, do it. I want to go socialize. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Yeah. You can go make friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I'm decently good. Yeah, yeah, one second. Double check something. Joel likes plant Gibraltar. Damn it. So I mean, I that. Yeah, I like the path over here. At Pathfinder, so I have to gun. I'm pretty good with the smoke girl who has the smoke screen too. You ever tried landing on the resupply ship? Yeah. I'm not good, so I usually wait on the last guy on the ship. I won like six games. I've only won two. Okay, so here's the thing. We're now introducing a me mechanic called plunder, which is just Yarr. a catch-all term for stuff you would get from looting a ship. So instead of keeping track of your inventory of like, we picked up 250 pounds of salted mackerel and like 30 Ooh. barrels of oil yes. or something. It's just That's collectively like one point of plunder to and move and operate and things. Yes. All the different dice up. There's also something called infamy, ah. which is your guys' reputation as pirates. So the more pirate negative five. You guys are at two right now. Hey. Every time you get one point to plunder, you gain one in. That's pretty cool. Hey, so even if we spend it, or yes, because it, it's when you gain it. Okay, that makes um, sense. So your enemy, depending, on, depending on what happens, like if you get your asses kicked by another pirate crew, then okay. you might lose some of that infamy. Okay. So but far, infamy really. is tied to something called disrepute, which is the spendable version of it. Mm. So like. When, when you gain a point of infamy, you gain a point of disrepute. You can sell or like use that point of disrepute, um, like a spell, kind of. Okay. But you don't regain it. Like it's a, it's a usable version, but your infamy doesn't go down from that. Cool. But you can use your disrepute to um, like do things. So like spend okay. two disrepute um, to make your crew complete any mundane tasks in half the expected time. Um, or force an NPC on your ship to cast like fog cloud, gust of wind, warning wind. Um, you can sacrifice one crew member or prisoner uh, to give yourselves and your crew a plus two bonus to all skill checks or to attack rolls. <laughs> While on board. Keep cannon fodder. <laughs> 
Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> uh, you can spend ten disreputes, and there there are levels to this. So it's the higher the higher infamy score, the more of these you have the option to use. Okay. You can spend ten disreputes to have every every one of you and every one of your crew members affected as though somebody cast cure wounds on them. Hmm. That can only be used once a week. But I mean, like, at higher levels, you're getting to the point where, like, teleport your ship up to 100 feet in any direction. (laughs) Excuse me? Inside the other ship. (laughs) Inside the other ship. Uh, Spend, so the, uh, like, max rank when you are vile, like your infamy level is vile, you can spend 20 disreputes to submerge your ship and travel underwater at your regular speed for up to an hour. Down. We could literally be the Flying Dutchman. Oh, so you can. So the absolute highest cost, Do highest we... thing you can accomplish is spend 25 disreputes to just call things to me. So you summon either five water elementals, two storm giants, three aboliths, a dragon <coughs> turtle, an ancient dragon black dragon, turtle. or a kraken. Do we know that one day we're going to be able to do this, or is this just and all like ancient, you've heard legends of other pirates okay. being able to do these things, and you've got no idea how dragon. it works? But okay. That sounds cool. Okay, I wasn't sure if this is like <laughs> common knowledge it's not or common, if it's, it's, it's not common, bear, common knowledge. Like you're looking at your little like, pirate point yeah, card. Yeah, I just think there was like a guy close to the next level. Yeah, that's what he said. All right. That's some pretty. We have we have dreams. Pretty dangerous stuff. Yeah. Welcome to Pirate Initiation. That's what this meeting is about. They hand out all the pamphlets. No. No. (laughs) Orientation. Yeah. Okay, so Cass. Uh, The reason I'm bringing this up is um, when you guys moor your ship somewhere at port um, for a full day, whichever one of you you designate to be your main storyteller... Um, can tell, spend this time like carousing and boasting about the cool shit that you guys have done um, to try and gain infamy. Cool. So you can either make like deception, intimidation, performance, persuasion, something like that to okay. tell a story. Cool, cool. And the higher you get, the more you get. Nice. You guys cannot have more infamy than four times your average level. So 16 is your max right now. You're at two. It's not terrible. You're at two. But (laughs) nobody likes to hear the same stories told over and over again. So you can only gain a max of five points of infamy um, from any particular port. Okay. But it resets every time you get to a new threshold. Cass. Would you like to try and talk yeah. yourselves up here? Yeah. Okay. Do us proud, Katolfin. 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 Um, 17. That was for performance. Okay, you just barely pass. Woo! You guys do increase your infamy by one. All right. Hey. So your disrepute is also at three. Infamy and Distributor at 3. I'm going to add them in there. Okay. I never actually fully finished that thing. Okay, I, like, I was just looking. Everything got crazy. Um, when you guys get to 10 Infamy, you'll have the Disgraceful title, and at mm-hmm. that point you can choose... Um, you can actually start spending your Distribute to do like basic impositions. You can also choose a favorite port, which gives you a plus 2 bonus on any Infamy-related checks you do there. Okay. My favorite port. So it's going to be a little bit before you guys can do any of that. <laughs> Cass talked us up a little bit. What story were you telling, guys? About how we yeah, the new trained. crew, the very new crew. How Start telling everyone about the mutiny. <laughs> <laughs> it was so awesome. there we were, the most unloyal pieces of shit you can <laughs> picture. <laughs> we were planning a mutiny from the first day we stepped day on that one. shit. <laughs> Absolutely no loyalty. You would have been proud of us. So what story were you telling? <laughs> the betrayal of the five, and then them coming back and overtaking. I was going to say, she was on the ship the whole time when you guys left for the island. These guys came back like a bunch of badasses, looked almost dead. 
and they just overthrew Plug and Scourge. Yep. Oh, wow, almost dead. We were. It's crazy. There was fog on the ship. There was some ginormous bear monster throwing people off the ship. There's a bear kraken? Crazy. Bracken? Bracken. There was a monkey man <laughs> jumping everywhere. <laughs> some guy was just climbing around on the hull of the ship. It was, it's, it was almost too much. It was crazy. Man. There was a lizard trading blows. A lizard. There was a squid who was fainting. Because I don't remember what Aaron was doing during the fight. I know he cast a spell. He cast a making sure that the Bracken was alive. Was, he cast a it spell was and, he, and Metal they got knocked out. Yeah, yeah. He cast a, he cast a, one spell and then Plug got really tired of him really fast. Yeah. Well, the problem is he decided to Get off leave the fog. Yeah. It was, also, who knew Plug had a death ray hidden in his sword? <laughs> no one. <laughs> who was ready for that little piece of. <laughs> I was, I was. I'm just glad you didn't use it on me. Who was ready for what? Who was ready for the death ray coming out of Plug's sword? None Damn. of us. Cole can do that now. Yep. <laughs> Good. Yar. You have to. Yar. You're the captain. Boy. That means you gotta be the strongest fighter on this ship. That's right. That means you gotta be able to one v one enemy bosses while we sit there and cheer you on. <laughs> <laughs> Not you can't what even. What an amazing fight we can tell tell everyone about our captain having. He's just rolling, tumbling around his enemies and just blasting them away with water. I <laughs> never get close. Like roll, rolls forward and pokes him in the shin and then rolls away. <laughs> and dashes. Incredible. Sprints from one end of the ship to the other. He's the fastest man I've seen. <laughs> All right. Yep. So what do we do now? Because at this point it's probably getting close to night, so we're just gonna probably. Where are you guys having your crew stay? Because there are crew quarters if you want to pay for them to be able to stay there. Otherwise, they can like. No quartermaster is it in the budget? I guess. How much is it for them to stay there? Yeah. How much does it cost? You guys have sixteen crew. Call it thirty-two gold tonight. For each person, or for all of them? For all of them. That's I'll take way. that out of my person. Ooh. At least for one way. night. Because <laughs> I, I have less than 200 gold. <laughs> well, I, might as seems well. like our minus illustrious one. captain is, Rosie has got stay it. With me. We can, uh. <laughs> just stay in the officers' quarters? Or... We, I think we can. It, it wouldn't hurt. We can at least Wait, buy maybe, their loyalty well, a little bit. Maybe the first mate, right? Yeah. Well, Cole's back covered. If you find, if you find more people to take up positions, you can I make your assistant or something. More monies, but... I said, because I need an assistant. We need a gunnery sergeant and an assistant yeah, well, gunnery sergeant. we don't have sergeant. enough people right now. I know. We so that would be the priority. Yeah, and so but tomorrow we can Cass talk about... But has talked you up a lot, so you guys are kind of actually attracting people. Then Marco and I are like old friends with everyone in the town, because we spent a day just wandering around, yeah. learning <laughs> the streets. And tomorrow we can talk about how we did the cool stuff. Captain did the cool thing for the people and yeah. bought them. You can rooms. keep doing. That's right. The generous, captain. generous captain. Generous captain. You just only gain up to five points at one port. Okay. Also, I believe there's something in here. Yeah. There's there's no penalty if you mess it up or anything. You just can't tell the same story again. Gotcha. So you've told the story now of the mutiny itself. Yep. Your particular character doesn't know any other stories is the only problem. <laughs> I can make stuff up. <laughs> so maybe we should have had you be the actual can storyteller. We, can we teach her a story? We could have told her about Yeah, we can. We have a night. We yeah. have at yeah. night. It's we can second hand knowledge, but she could do it. We I, can give her a story and she can act like she was there. Okay. Does one of you want to tell her a story? How oh, the first mate heroically swam to the bottom of this fucking pit. To rescue his crewmates. The captain disarmed a Grindy Low Queen. I so we just want to tell the story shark. of Riptide Cove? Yeah. yeah. We'll okay. tell the story. Who wants day. to tell her the story? Because that's going to affect her ability Cole, to you have, you have performance, tell don't you? I do have performance. Yeah, the bar. The right? actual bar. <laughs> <You can> like, <laughs> he'll, he'll, he'll show her exactly how to like, just do Present what I do. It. Just do what right. I do here. Picks up loot. <laughs> you guys made a, your first mistake of being pirates is you put a bard in charge of the ship. Yeah, that was... <laughs> Not <laughs> sense. What are you talking about? All right, am I rolling? This would be the most flamboyant of pirate ships. You ever right. seen Flamingo's ship? Performance. All right. The teach cast the story. Oh, 12. Oof. Oof, yeah. You got the basics. 
Okay, I got the basics. Part of it got a little confusing because he got too excited and didn't actually tell it properly. Does anyone else have performance that would have helped him? I don't have performance, but I have a different story. I swam I can in the stand behind him and go. How Does I no one else have performance? No. Okay, that's no. what you got then. So otherwise, I have the story of how I swam and rescued Rosie out of a hurricane. Right, you can tell other stories if you want. You, you can use that story, oh. I guess. We'll see what the raw, raw roll is. 18 for a raw roll. <laughs> I like talking about myself, I guess. I've been really tired. Hey, he was man. upset he had to get out of his hammock. Yeah. Do, you, do you just want to sleep in the hammock tonight? <laughs> sure. So, you can t- the story that. of how the yeah. person pulled someone out of our hurricane. Okay, I might use that one. Just because. Cole was just really eager to get back to his hammock. So he's I'll, re- I'll really retell fast. you it. Tomorrow. I'll retell it. <laughs> Like, there were some squid people, and we fought them, and there was a bigger squid one. And I got su- shoved I so this. far inside of me. I did it, it this was and this. I'm like, uh-huh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're not even believing the story is the problem. <laughs> <laughs> You're, like, taking notes. It's like, really? You, you had to be are, there. Are you sure? You had to be there. It ends with you had to be there. <laughs> right, so you can use my story, I guess. I will it's... use your story. Yay. Not tonight. No, not tonight. I'll use it tomorrow. That's just in other news. I've thought stories. of a name for us as pirates and the name of our ship. Let's, All right, let's go ahead. Hear it. All right. The ship's name is Samyaza. Oops. All right, and I'll explain. And then we are the Watchers. Ooh. The Watchers. Because Samyaza was like the chief of the Watchers. It's like some old biblical lore. Like this is real life, not yeah. this game. Yeah. Yeah, he was a fallen archangel. So I have a ship to be called? Sam, yeah. S-A-M-Y-A. Can you check out in the chat so I can see Yes, sir. So is our crest like an eye or something? No, we're not the eye. I gotta make sure that's right. They're the eye in the all-knowing pyramid. Oh, yeah. Oops. There's probably your crew name like the Watchers or like the Sea Watchers or... Well, what are you guys? I'll, I'll get watchers. some. No, not Cthulhu. I hate Cthulhu. <laughs> we are not doing anything with Cthulhu. <laughs> Why do you hate Cthulhu? Because he's overhyped. I hate it. Pedar <laughs> <laughs> Watchers. Thank you, Colson. Hold the pain in your chest for a second. <laughs> what was that? Oh, oh, I still have to address that other thing. I don't. <laughs> you felt your hand moving towards your sword for a second. <laughs> <laughs> What was that? <laughs> just, let's just do the Watchers. We can just do the Watchers. Yeah, the, the watchers, watchers is like the Watchers is mysterious. Who needs adjectives? Exactly, the Watchers. What is this? We're coming up with a name. We have us. a ship name and a crew, like a crew name. What's the ship name? The Sam Yaza. And it's here's named some, after a fallen angel. Here's a, a some nice cool fan art they put in the Pirates Party crew. chat. We are the Watchers. Because Sam Yaza was the leader of the Watchers. The Watchers. So our ship is our leader, basically. I mean, wow. it's not the Flying Dutchman, but I guess. <laughs> it's not the, I know. <laughs> wow. So is everyone okay with that name? Or, yeah. I uh, am. Then when we destroy yeah, another yeah. ship, we can just write in the crew, the dead crew's blood, you have been You've watched. You've been watched. <laughs> Always watching. Always, Always watching. watching. That'll be our lo- our Always slogan. Watching. Always watching. Always watching. Always watching. Mike Wazowski. You want to play Cyclops now? Mike Wazowski. What a half sized version of a Cyclops? Yeah, like if a halfling and a Cyclops had a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Who's what? I feel like the Cyclops has to be the mother. You're either going to get a really short Cyclops or you just have a human. <laughs> you know? You got to roll the dice on it. Depends. You know, I, Mel, uh, were you going to share any of your um, results of going around checking out the shops and things? Share it with you, Captain. Yeah, I, I saw her. <laughs> Dino, <Yeah. laughs> Uh Quartermaster. The guy doesn't like to barter prices, but they have some armor type stuff. They have one health potion. Oof. <laughs> it costs 50 gold. Okay. Probably like 60 now. 
Masterwork, uh, breastplate. There was a halberd. Silver. There was, yeah. There was a circlet. Plus of, one silver halberd. A circlet of persuasion. A wand of healing word. With that would be several charges. Uh, plus one buckler shields. A potion of fox's cunning. A potion of healing. I would advise that we maybe think about investing in the. Um, Wand. The wand. Yeah, because we seem to have a problem with Living. staying alive. <laughs> yeah. We're not so good at that survival bit. Yeah. Would I have known how much that was worth or how much it costed? Do I have yep. Okay. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think I have any. It's a good thing you're keeping this. Check out the party inventory or loot note. There might be some armor in there. Well, I feel now that this is a more fitting song. No, there's no armor. Oh, have we got an update? Party session. There's not a lot in the party session. <laughs> yeah, we Do you see. know what it is called? Bad touch. No. No, it's not. I did not. <laughs> Every breath you take. Every break, every step you take. I'm you watching. Gotta watch how loud I play this one, though. I don't want Tanner to get a copyright strike. Yeah. <laughs> copyright strikes in every single video. So the audience knows it is every breath you okay. take. By use the mu <laughs> music for mothers. Don't get copyrighted on every You're single welcome. video. You're welcome. You're fine. Gotta keep right. it up for the All right. Sea shanties. Okay. <laughs> We're not, not making money off of these, I don't oh, care. No, not the police is creepiest song, believe it or not. Oh, uh, like 200. Oh, no. 200. A wand with a level one spell. <laughs> Just how 200 many, gold. Oh, how many turns does it have? 19. Anyone else know any stalker songs that go about it's watching people? That, it was 200 gold. <laughs> uh, nope. 200 gold for a wand of healing word. I think it was healing word. Hmm. That has 19 charges. So it was only a D4 of healing, but it's a 30 foot range. So that's not not a terrible not deal. It's not terrible. 200? Yeah. All right. I'll throw it down. All righty. Thank you. I'll be the sugar daddy. Do you want to be the person who hangs on to it? Um, I'll pay for it. But when two of us are injured, you prioritize me. <laughs> it goes to me first. Who's going to actually hold on to it, then? Yeah, that's what I was wondering. Hold on to what? Someone the in the back wand. line. The wand. A wand of healing, healing word. word. With 19 charges. You or we give it to Sandara. Yeah. If Is Sandara going, going to want to come adventuring with us if we go off on another tangent? Uh, like you know, it? We will. <laughs> okay. Or I'm gonna recommend it. you just leave Sandara in charge of the ship when you guys no. go off and do your own thing. How about for now, yeah, you just keep it in the, the quartermaster's office, and then when we need it, or we'll just go and assign it then. Okay. All right, grab I'll... the stick of healing. Okay. We're heading there. Grab the stick that doesn't is it used for beating? Okay. <laughs> well, why don't you just carry it on you? Now? Yeah, I'll I'll be the person who carries it since nobody wants to carry it. I'll be the one to do it. I mean, we're gonna get you a sweet ass coat that's just covered in pockets <laughs> and little holsters and things yeah, all over I'm gonna, the place. Yeah, the first cool place we land, I'm buying a trench coat with all of the inside pockets. <laughs> all of them. You did have scourges. You remember that big ass coat that he was wearing? That big black one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does it have ample pocketage? It would it have many pockets, yes. Okay. Nobody's claimed it. I would love to claim it then. Okay. You can have scourges. Beater coat. Like that. I can carry the one if you want, but I'm probably not the person who should be the one in charge of this. Nah, that's coat. cool. I can, I can carry it. It's not a big deal. The Tiefling now has a nice trench coat. Nice. Oh yeah, I'm Aren't wearing that. Are you wearing a trench coat? Uh, yeah, I just put it on top of my other coat. I don't have <laughs> <laughs> coats on coats trench on coats. coats on trench coats. Yeah. So you make, make sure you've got all the pockets. Yeah, yeah. I need layers. all of the space for things. It's also super warm. Yeah. I'm, all the time. I'm, it's really hot out here. I <laughs> am sweating. 
but that's Work okay. Tiefling's don't, Teeth don't, don't sweat. <laughs> if you if you get wet, like if one jacket gets soaked, you just shed it. <laughs> I just turned it inside out. Layers. Guys are hanging out right there. pulling off the coat. It's like, this is not a two coat day. Yeah. See, Dino doesn't have a sense of smell, so she can't smell her own BO under all the layers. I'm just kidding. (laughs) (laughs) That's That's not a good (laughs) (laughs) All right. uh, (laughs) Wow. I'm just kidding. Nope. Hmm. Where am I? Okay. So the next day comes up. What are we doing today? You're gonna go buy that wand? Yeah. I'm not gonna try to haggle. I we'll just have, buy it. We'll have cast haggle. ghost tell our story. I, I would recommend rolling for the haggle. The story of the yeah. saltwater crocodile. I'll, I'll try to haggle by rolling. Okay, What what is your new target price point that you're looking at? Because that might affect the DC. 150. Okay, so you want to just slash it by 25%? Yeah. Okay. Persuasion. Mm-hmm. Unless you want to lie about it somehow, but this was originally mine. <laughs> you stole like this from back. me. Look at this is my ancestral. Okay, that's a seventeen. You want that in the uh, party possession, so. Yeah. That's all. Mm. I'm putting it in the armory. Okay. Okay, who else is doing something? I think Cass is going to go s- tell so our stories. You're going to have a hard time finding anyone to talk to today. Or just, sitting. just because everyone's working during the day. Okay. Like, especially the new crew that is descending on your guys' ship and just... You're watching entire sections of your ship just stripped away. Like, you're looking... They're pulling it up onto the dry dock because you're looking at, like, the internal skeleton of this thing. Right. Okay, well, I need to find armor, then. Like, going to these other areas that I... I guess I'm going to try to do some... You do know... Uh, what kind of armor are you looking for? Like armor. What, is what are you wearing? It? Nothing. According to this, nothing. Um, the... <laughs> Do you want me to so give you a gold piece? <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure. Do you want to give me a gold piece? No. I guess you'll just have to live with it then. We <laughs> took the... I pass you a gold piece. Oh no, you piece. took the stone of the I pass you. <laughs> yes, I give you a piece of gold. Like, I know there was leather armor <laughs> that was loose <laughs> that no one had taken yet, so we'll just <laughs> slap that on. You even have that number. You seemed that very plus? distressed. 11 plus your dexterity. So. It's okay. So it's plus one. You're like, I don't want any of this. Yeah. I mean, I your, your mean. default oh, AC is 10 plus dexterity. You could dexterity. just put it in the So putting in leather armor is just um, 11 plus dex. Okay, so, so it's just 30. You want it to be a, yeah. you want will, to feel I generous. Mean, I like having, uh, Disposable Sorry. Uh, I guess no. I'm gonna try to get some like recruiting. So we need what? Mm-hmm. Six During people. The day while people are working. Like this is yeah, my I'm gonna start scouting out places like, they'll be when they're mm-hmm. like, off work. Like, yeah, you guys like, I know where they're gonna be, so I'm gonna start. Everything. Yours. But if I just you would probably, not probably actually try to recruit during the day. Yeah. Just because you're talking to people as they're working, it's harder to get their attention telling a story. No, that's fair. Yeah. So we only need what four people, then we're up at maximum ship strength. I mean, you're up to your minimum ship strength. Healing word wall. Like 20 is the number of yeah, the minimum number of crew you need to operate yeah, a full that's capacity. Worth it. Okay, you so can hold more than that. We need four to get up to minimum, and we definitely need to be at minimum if we're going to do some pirating. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, let's see if I can't try to get four people to sign their lives away. Okay. Did I, did I have to, Did I have to share a room last? I guess night? I'll use intimidation. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Did I have Intimidation. To oh, no, that's just like, look how big and strong we are. Okay. Would, you, would you have wanted to sleep on the ship? Probably. Okay, back in the... Away from people. Okay. It's just right in the regular <laughs> oh, crew's yeah, quarters. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're still not an officer, so... <laughs> no, I'm not. Yeah. Keep refusing. We keep throwing promotions at her. She keeps declining. Oh, my solid one for it's 
No. Oh, good. Listen, it's better than All right. zero. I don't like leadership roles. I'll guess I'll do intimidation the for the side. recruiting. Just because that's my good. Are we recruiting people? I'm going to try to. Okay. Try to get at least four so we're How up to. Intimidate them. Are you intimidating Intimidation's them? not like you or should work for me or I'll kill you. It's look how big, strong, intimidation might bad we are. super well with Ricky D. Yeah, do we want to just try and talk to people? I thought it was like on the ship where it's not like you're trying to like scare them to death, you're just... No, but you're trying can, to make his can, peoples. I mean, tell me how you're phrasing it. Yeah, are we going for Rickety's people or are we going for like townspeople? Townspeople. Anyone who wants to join our crew. Town? I mean, it's Do we put an ad in the newspaper? <laughs> newspaper? We put it in the classifieds. Yeah. Okay, so actually convincing people is going to be either deception or persuasion. Okay. If you guys attack a ship and try and press gain new crew, that's intimidation. Well, we could just to okay. just to simplify some things. Okay. Then I guess. Well, I, I mean, I can go out and help persuade people. I guess we'll go. I could just see. We'll go talking. deception then. I guess. How oh, good are you? Plus three. I'm not terrible at talking to people. If you guys want me to As help. As I. So I guess I can do perception, just what am I doing for it? What do you mean? Like, uh, so use the deception roll to try to get some recruities? I mean, you're just upselling I mean, the benefits and downplaying the risks. Okay. So just take the roll then? Thanks. And do you want to do it, yeah? Yeah, I'll do it. Do you want help? Um, I have a 22. Okay. Never mind, you're good. Okay. okay. Glenn, roll me a d4. Four. Yeah. Okay, Glenn, you weave a very impressive recruitment speech, and you actually have like small crowd forming around you before oh. Rickety is like shooing people back to their work. Oh. He's not, not upset about what you're doing, just upset at them that they're getting. Oh, distracted. that they're not doing work. Okay. But you've got a small group that uh, comes back to you guys at night, uh, wanting to talk to you more, and it sounds like you've got six people willing to sign up with your group. Right. I'll, 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 I'll send them over to the cat. Hmm? I think we need to make business cards. Yeah, we need business cards. Wow. We need to get legit. I only wanted four. I got two extra. Nice. <laughs> Are you going to turn them away? Oh, of course no. not. We'll, we need them. Will you sign on yet? What? <laughs> now we have expendable people to sacrifice. I forgot this. Look at it. More nameless facers for when characters die. Oh, sad. Hmm. Yeah, no chocolate chips in it. Eat cookies are so good. I know. My compliments, Tanner. Look at how grandma's here. I'll tell my grandma yeah. said so. I really hate that. Okay, so your minimum crew size is. 20, you guys are currently at 22. Nice. What Do we have a maximum? 150. 150 passengers. <laughs> <laughs> well, that is... It's pretty much either 150 tons of cargo or 150 passengers. Uh, and you're, like, interacting with one or the other, depending on how you want to pack people in here. Mm. Once you get around... I'm going to say you have around 25 actual hammocks for your regular crew. So if you have any more than that, you're gonna run out of space for them to like sleep comfortably, but you can pack people in there if you want. Oh, what's that? So we can get three more people but. before we start turning them down. How many more days? This is day two of seven. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> My character is freaking out. There are things that will happen on these days. I'm just not bothering to do them now because it would take too long uh -huh. before we're actually leaving. But um, is there anyone else who wants to do something specific? Um, you were going to tell stories at night, correct? Mm -hmm. So wait on your Can I side. try to reteach her <laughs> this story? <laughs> sure. All right. <laughs> Fuck. Listen, I got, I've got the wording down Did this a time. little bit worse. Ten. <laughs> This time it makes less sense. More unbelievable. You <laughs> cannot believe this story that he's telling. Hey, you know what? <laughs> Good thing you still have a story. You have a story. We'll keep trying. Marco, 
do you want to do? Anything? More time to tell us. Well, let's let's take a wee bit. Around and shadow box and get back in shape and recover. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. What if you anamorph into a gun? How about that, Mark? <laughs> Does no, he wake up and you're you a gun? Providing that one thing. Wait, what was that old man? The entire name? week, or just today? No, just today. Rickety take arms with me. Probably not. Rickety just loose. Go back to sorry. going through inventory. Okay, yeah. I'm planning to like actually go through and I'll fix all yeah. of that by the next time. Oh, yeah. No worries. There's a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's worth a lot of different things. Yeah. Um, out of curiosity, are you guys? A lot of you, when you were on the island, were picking up things like little pearl buttons and like dresses and like perfumes and crap like that, mm-hmm. like barrels of pepper and things. <laughs> Are you planning to sell those on your own? Or do we just want to put I'd those give into to the crew <laughs> possessions and Mel can just go and sell them in bulk? I'm keeping my tooth though. Yeah, I've got some stuff that I can put into party possessions and sell. I, well, Cass doesn't have anything, but I know you guys were picking up like, like there was a lot of stuff to pick up yeah, on there. Like, I have, yeah, I, really I have Also, we never went back to that sunken ship. But we did it! Fuck! We, we I mean, there's nothing to stop us from going back now. <laughs> Let's go back! <laughs> <laughs> I'd rather go to, like, the island. Isle. Isleless. Yeah, that's the problem, is now everything else looks really good. Yeah! <laughs> Small fish. But are you guys... If, if there's something you want to help hold on to, tell me. But otherwise, between now and next mm-hmm. week. Yeah, between next week. Um, I can go through your inventory sheet like sheets and just put things in that party possession. So I don't know if you have anything because by the time I would go things move, and see how much they're actually worth already I'll, like mark the things in mine that I want. Yeah, I'm gonna put like, in I'll my inventory anything. the things. If it has a weight I wanna keep it. Because <laughs> okay. I'm assuming things like like the whale skull like obviously we're not gonna sell that. Yeah. But uh, you get marked it somewhere. You guys also gotta decide what you're gonna do with that thing. I'm gonna put all my Well there's only I think two people that know what it does, so I have no clue what it does. Nope. So it's for me, it's just a fancy bone. Your hand tingles when you're near it, guess. That's all you know. Woo! Is it, are we is keeping it, that in? Is it the same that I have? It's in positions right now. I can make another section if you want, like, treasure that we're not planning to ever sell. Yeah, let's have a, that. Our hoard. I, I take it from Glenn and I put it on the wall, frame it. And I'm like, what, from me? The whale skull. I just dropped it off on the ship. I mean, I, <laughs> I wasn't sure if you were still wearing it as a backpack or not. <laughs> as cool as that would be. Okay, I'm gonna make a distinguishment between loot and treasure. So treasure is things we don't want to get rid of. Treasure. Loot is things we don't really care about. Whether or not we get treasure. Rid of. Sounds good. Ah. Sorry. All right. We should destroy. Good work, crew. So I managed to get us some extra hands. Now we can at least sail and fight at full capacity. Okay, so Tanner, mm-hmm. everything in my treasure thing under my bio can go into ship inventory also. On your bio? Oh, I guess the only yeah. thing I have. There's no treasure tab. Was... Okay, I got all that in there though. Okay. Yeah, I kind of use all my stuff. The short sword. Am I assuming? How do how do you guys want? Because I was also planning to build like an armory of just like all the weapons and armor that we're not currently using, but might want to hold on to. Um, do you I, want masterwork versions of things to go in loot or in the armory? Probably armory. Because master masterwork goes get... in loot if we do not have it, if we have it in the armory. Huh? What? what? <laughs> If we, if we put it in box A, if we put it in box B, <laughs> we'll put it in both if places. If we already to have, it. if we already oh, have we a already normal have version one. of it in our armory, we'll put the fancy one in the cell box. Like, okay. because there's okay. no advan- like mechanical advantage. No, but it looks nice. Okay. I mean, in that I, case, when we roll up, our pirate crew is gonna look so fly. Hell, all no. their shiny stuff. We're too new for that to happen. I mean, uh, I have a short for sword, now. but the short sword also has. Is magic does magic? Yeah. So for now, we'll be selling them. But like when sword. we get mm-hmm. when we get to be really fancy pirates and we find some, then, then we'll, we'll keep break those. Out the good stuff. Yeah. We'll use it as our reward system with our crew. When they do really good, then we'll give them a nice shiny version of their weapon. If they do poorly, we'll take it from them. 
They get a Seems stick. Like the, they get yeah, a stick. the rusty version. They got a plank with some nails in it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I will move all that. Why do you even need a okay. plank? Just use your fist. Oh, <laughs> okay, Marco's sitting here like, we can save so much on weapon costs if we just teach our crew how to punch. <laughs> Well, never never owns a pugilist. <laughs> crew a pugilist. We don't have to pay for armor. We don't have to pay for weapons. You teach half the crew how to grapple and the other half how to punch. Our injuries and food costs are going to double, but we're saving so much on weapons and armor. <laughs> it's perfect. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so unless you guys want to do anything else on that particular. No, yeah, yeah. You want to do a story quick, right? Story. Story. 17. You managed to get one additional point. There are increments when you can get more points, but you're just barely making the threshold for <laughs> one point. Hey, progress. It wasn't that good of a story. That's all right. You've earned two points now at Rick these Squibs. Cool. You can earn another three. <laughs> another three. <laughs> okay, is there anything else anyone wants to do on day two before the end of it. Not selling anything, no one buying anything, we're not exploring, talking to anyone. I want to go talk to Rickety Hake. Okay. You want to do this before story time? Yeah, why not? Okay. He's directing things on the ship and yelling at people. I don't want to talk to him while he's busy. No, that's rude. Okay. You wait until he goes on break. Yes, break. What do you want? <laughs> So why did you decide to be here? Like, I want to know your story, like, from the beginning, because this does not look like... The third together operation. <laughs> like, this looks like it's been here for a while. Well, you see, my dad was a squibber. That's it? There you go. Oh. So you just picked it up? Did your grandfather do it? Don't know. Don't know. He's pulling tooth and nail. He doesn't have very many teeth to pull. <laughs> like looking at a fly that's like going around. <laughs> and also like squinting out at the sea. Have you s- sailed before? Time or two. Did you like it? It's well enough. Well enough. Okay. Well, this is. Put food in a man's belly. That's fair. I have nothing else to do. He's not very drunk. <laughs> Sorry. He's an old man. He's, I know. He's doing work. Usually old don't, men are Don't like... ask for more for that. It's incredible he's doing this well. Why doesn't he have kids? Maybe he does. The, sh- the ships are his kids. Does he have kids? Do you want to ask him? Yes, I'll ask him. Have you... Work my boys work on the ships for me. How many boys? I lost count. Jesus. Or is it like a white beard kind of pirate thing, Glenn? <laughs> <laughs> what are the, what are your boys' names? Don't know. Too many. Don't know. Too many. Too many. <laughs> I don't know what the names on the spot. It's really hard. It's really, uh, his memory's foggy. I'm leaving. Back to work. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone else have anything they want to do? Don't talk to Rickety. <laughs> Don't talk to Rickety when he's on the job. Uh, or off the job. Or off the job. I already did the recruiting for today, so. Yeah, you're not really going to get any more people. Out of this area, so. No, There's 70 would... people in this. Like 70 or 80 people. You already took like close to 10% of the population. That's pretty good. Yeah, and I wouldn't do that. We want to stay on good terms with him. Yeah. I took I took the troublemaker. Is it going to get to the end of Rickney's like, yeah, we would have finished it in seven days, but a bunch of my people just up and left. 